Welcome back guys, welcome back to channel. welcome back to another video and in today's video, uh, it's literally all over the place. You've been doing so many things behind the scenes in the past couple of weeks while I was doing finals, you guys know this is probably the last video I have to do that's just pretty much catching you guys back up. But basically, I filmed a lot of things uh, that we did to the 135i. The last thing you guys saw is so much us taking the 135, we put a one in bumper on it and taking it down to the paint shop. So uh, I'll just go ahead and throw you guys in the video where that part is and then I'll, I'll, I'll catch you guys in a little bit to actually fill you in what's going on afterwards. What's going on guys? So this is officially the next day, well technically a couple days later, and we are going over to pick up the 135. Hopefully check out that front end. I think it's gonna be looking so much better with the front bumper paint and everything. Uh, the only other thing for the front end that we'll need was going to be an emblem. So hopefully we can either clean off that emblem or just get a new emblem. We'll see how that works. But yeah, guys, at this point, we are heading down to the body shop to pick up the 135. So I'll catch you guys when we get there. Just got here to the body shop. See where our little 135 is. I'm super, I'm super excited to see this paint on this bumper. I love these guys, but at the same time, unfortunately it gets dirty, but that's what it is. And when you get a car back from a body shop, this is to be expected. <laughs> they're not detailers, they're body shop people. But as you guys can see from the bumper, this looks so good. So I'm super, super, super happy we got that back. Now let's head over to Showman Motors to get the cats put on this bad boy. Yeah, definitely gonna have to use some Hydrosilix products, guys. But this is gonna look so much better once we get it back from uh, from Showman's. To show the motor boys. <laughs> I see Sharif right over there. Three days later. Finally picking up the 135. Uh, obviously not all problems has been fixed, but uh, at least the major ones have. The rest of them, we can figure out. Sheesh! Oh my God, that thing only needs a polish. It's gonna be stunning. Shout out to Anders over here, putting in the work. So we got the new cats put into the 135. So we finally have cats, we have new O2 sensors. So now that it has new O2 sensors and new cats, um, it still has an O2 sensor code. Actually has three codes, which I'll be throwing up on the screen. Uh, basically these three codes are coming back. I don't really know why it's doing that to be honest. But from what, I, what I've read online, it could honestly mean that the previous owner tried putting a downpipe fix and that he messed up the wiring somehow or uh, the, the downpipe fix is still in the car. So we need to figure that out. Probably gonna go back into the exact same area where the JV4 was at and just check out the wiring to see if there's anything that's not supposed to be there. And then hopefully we would pinpoint that exactly. But in the meantime, he said he fixed the exhaust. There was like a weird exhaust sound. We have new cats, new O2 sensors. I'm excited, boys. So after getting the car back from Showman Motors, we did notice that the tank was completely empty. Actually, in that day, I remember I was driving home literally on an empty tank I was like on zero literally for like five six miles and I just had to pull over to the house I didn't even take it to a gas station I pulled up to the house because I really need to get I need to join a zoom call for one of my group stuff and we got all that situated and after that happened the next day I ended up taking the 7 series when we had it at the time uh, got some gas in one of those jugs and came back home and put it in there because the car was not going to make it to a gas station I knew that for sure. So um, then uh, once we got it to a gas station um, You guys will pretty much get filled in right here So yes, yes, we use some uh, gas cleaner because honestly the car has been sitting, probably some very old fuel in the tank. We use some gas cleaner just to fix up everything. Again, we're trying to perfect this car. We put it completely back to stock, mainly because of smog reasons. Um, we literally need, to, I, can't, I don't even have the pink slip because when you buy a car through a, a co-part through a broker, you don't have the pink slip till it passes smog, it passes all the legal emissions like braking lights and all that stuff. You gotta finish all of that stuff just so you can get the car and get the pink slip under your name. So it had to get 
done. And in the meantime, like we're doing with the fuel tank and everything, we're just trying to make the car absolutely perfect and healthy. I cannot tell you guys, we already did the brake fluids now. We, we already uh, pretty much put the fuel cleaner in the tank. We removed all the modifications. We put back the original cast, now it has new O2 sensors. We fixed the front bumper, we put a 1M style bumper, new paint on there. And then now what you guys are about to see is that we got some new brakes and rotors and sensors just to absolutely make it perfect. So it has no errors on the dash. It did have a brake sensor and honestly, all the brakes and rotors and everything were just in absolutely terrible shape. It was all like rusted out. So we decided, you know what, let's just go ahead and upgrade to drill slot and just pretty much do everything all around the car. <laughs> so yeah guys, that, that's what we're gonna do right here. Uh, it's coming off. Now, if you mess up the freaking. Anywho, I appreciate you, my dude. I would have been at this for another six hours and would have gotten nowhere. So, uh, thank you, my good sir. Looks like you guys are at the part where uh, we finished the brakes and rotors. And yes, you see, they were in terrible shape. So thankfully, we did get those things replaced on top of the brake fluids and everything. So now, in terms of uh, in terms of the brake system, we're not going to be dying, thankfully. So that is a huge, huge, huge plus. So right after we got all that situated, we still had the service engine light for the O2 sensors. We replaced the O2 sensors. We put in cats that I know are good. And I put in O2 sensors, brand new O2 sensors. And we're still getting the O2 lights. And that just doesn't make any sense. So we did a little bit of research with the codes that came up and it came back to a DP fix. And I was like, okay, well the previous owner said he didn't have any DP fixes on there um, because you guys saw we were able to contact the previous owner because Blake, but from Blake's garage actually knew the car that I bought was from a friend of his that sent it off to the auction. I ended up buying it and uh, long story short, I reached out to him. He said he did not put a DP fix on there, but we, but it just didn't make much sense. So we went in there, we checked the wiring and everything. There wasn't a DP fix. But we did notice that two of the wires, two of these like yellow wires were misplaced. We moved them back. I would have never figured this out if it wasn't for Nick. So huge special shout out to Nick. Nick actually started a YouTube channel to help all you guys with all of your coding needs and everything. I will be giving him a shout out pretty soon, but he said he wanted to upload around 10 videos before I give him that shout out. So respect to this guy for the hustle. But yeah, he's gonna be pretty much filling you guys all in with all of his BMW knowledge pretty soon. But in the meantime, in the meantime, huge special shout out to Nick for actually finding the two wires I needed to go ahead and repin. And after I repin those two wires, literally the car started up so, so, so nicely. Like the idle and everything was so perfect. Zero lights on the dash. The service engine went on on its own. Like it literally went away on its own. I didn't even have to do anything. Just when I turned on the car, it wasn't there anymore. And I was so, so, so happy. And even when I checked the codes, there was zero codes. So literally zero codes, guys. Like, I mean, some cars, they have zero lights on the dash but they have like 30 codes in the behind the scenes, you know, for like random antennas and AC and just random stuff. This car has zero codes. I've never had a car with zero codes, zero pending codes, literally a mint car. So that being said, obviously when I saw that zero codes, we headed straight to break and light and smog.
brings us to the end of the video. So <laughs> I had to pretty much narrate this entire video just to keep you guys posted. There were so much things that got done from pretty much putting new caps, painting the bumper, O2 sensors, fixing the wiring, brakes, rotors, sensors. We did so much things to this car and we're still doing more to perfect it. But unfortunately with this car, it's not gonna be staying on the channel. I do, I am absolutely perfecting it on top of the fact that we're just trying to get the pink slip, mainly because it is a 135i manual N54 low mileage uh, with the white interior and it's just the coupe M Sport. It just looks so, so, so good. And it's one of those cars that I feel like just needs to be restored 100% before we uh, you know, find a new owner for it. Because our priority is is the M5. So hopefully in the next video or the next, you know, two videos or whatnot, we should get the pink slip. We should get a chance to polish the paint because once we polish the paint, get the pink slip, we should be able to sell it unless something else pops up and uh, it is a BMW. So you never know. But without further ado, guys, I pretty much lose this video. If you guys enjoyed this video and are 100% caught up with all the latest more news, make sure to smash that like button. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go I ain't the first with the curse With the thirst that I wanna be better Not worse, man, it hurts I'm on this earth with my words And I put them all together in cert Cause I wanna have worth